What is the difference between management consulting and strategy consulting? Hi, my name is Johannes Niari. I'm a project manager in strategy consulting and on this channel I want to help you to have a successful career in consulting. And today we will talk about the difference between strategy consulting and management consulting. And I will structure this video in four parts. First, we will talk about what consulting is in general. Second, we will talk about what management consulting is. Third, we will talk about what strategy consulting is. And then we make a comparison of management consulting and strategy consulting. But let's start with part number one. Let's talk about what is consulting. And this is very simple to explain. Typically, you have a client and this client has a certain problem. And the client, of course, wants to have a solution for the problem. And what he typically does is that he hires a consultant. So we can say that consulting is problem solving as a service. And there are, of course, many different types of consultants that you have. So there are you know, health consultants who take care of the health of the client. Then there are financial consultants who make sure you know, that the client is financially independent and makes good decisions. There are social media consultants who optimize social media channels and so on. So we can say you know, that consulting is a very general term for problem solving as a service. And there are many different types of consulting firms and solo consultants and consulting niches. Let's talk about what management consulting is. And management consulting still is consulting. So this means that it's problem solving as a service. But the management consultants have a very specific target group. And as the name suggests, we talk about clients who work in management. And if we talk about management, we typically talk, talk about three levels. So the first level, this is the top management level, as we call it, the C-suite. So those are the CEOs, CFOs, COOs, and so on. But we also have the middle management. These guys are typically, um, you know, division heads or, you know, um, heads of a function, something like that. And then the third level is that we talk about the lower management. And there we have specific managers in certain uh, niches like or functions like an HR manager, a procurement manager, something like that. So this is what we refer to as management. And within the management, we have different kinds of problems. So for example, a manager wants to optimize the cash flow. A manager wants to optimize a process. A manager wants to implement a certain process. He wants to introduce a new tool. Okay, there are many different kinds of problems. And what management consultants do is that they solve problems for managers. So these three levels that we talk about. So what are typical management consulting firms? So you probably heard of the big four, like companies like KPMG, PwC, Ernst Young, Deloitte. But we also have many other firms, like for example, Simon Kuchel is a management consultancy that has focused on um, pricing. We talk about uh, Harvard and Partners, a management consultancy who has focused on controlling issues. And there are hundreds of other firms that I could name as well. But those are typically firms that take care of management problems on all of the three levels that we talked about. So let's now talk about what strategy consulting is. And typically strategy consulting is a subcategory of management consulting. So still it's problem solving for the management, but typically strategy consulting firms mainly focus on the first level of management. So they only focus on the C-suite. So this means that they mainly solve problems for the CEO, for the CFO, for the COO, and so on. If we talk about very large corporates, uh, S&P uh, 500 or in Germany here the DAX companies, those are you know multi-billion dollar companies who have their own large divisions. And then we don't only talk about the C-suite, we also talk about the C-1 or C-2 level. So this means also you know the top management um, um, on the two lower ranks. But of course, you know since those are very large companies and the divisions that these sub-managers also lead are still very huge. So I would say that the top uh, strategy consulting firms mainly advise the top management, but also the two levels below that. And typically, strategy consulting firms, um, they do, of course, as the name suggests, strategy project. But this is a very vague term, you know, because what actually is a strategy project? It mainly refers to solving three um, problems. First, they try to increase revenue. Second, they try to decrease cost. And third, they try to change the organization. And those are typically the three components of a strategy project. And we can say that strategy consultancies 
mainly at their core focus on these, uh, these three problems. So what kind of firms are there? So of course, those uh, there are the uh, MBB firms, and this means McKinsey, BCG, and Bain, and these are you know like the largest strategy consulting firms that are there in the market. Global firms that are very prestigious and you know that kind of dominate the market. But there are also many companies that we refer to as tier two or boutique firms. So these are companies like LEK, Carney, Roland Berger, Stern Stewart. There are many different firms as well who also have a strong focus on these strategy um, projects, but that are um, who are not as large as the MBB firms. We have to say that, of course, there is this differentiation between management consulting and strategy consulting. But it's not that there is you know, a kind of strict um, differentiation because many strategy consulting firms also move you know, to other fields in the management consulting sector because, of course, you know, this part of the market is much, much larger because, you know, these strategy projects, they really are a niche. And the, all the large consulting firms and the large strategy consulting firms, they also try to move more and more into the management sector because they also want to do the implementation projects, you know, the more of um, kind of operational projects because these are, you know, of course, very attractive projects as well. And there is a huge market for that as well. Nevertheless, this is the difference between management consulting and strategy uh, consulting. Let's now talk about it a little bit. What the difference is if you apply or if you want to join the consulting market. And in general, we can say that strategy consulting is kind of the creme de la creme of consulting because, you know, it's the most demanding, most prestigious consulting area and consulting sector. So typically, we can say that if you work for strategy consulting firms, you know, they are very prestigious. So the brand, something like, you know, McKinsey, BCG and Bain, but also the tier two companies, if you have these names on your CV, you know, this makes a very good impression. Also, you know, the requirements on the other side are way, way higher than if we talk about management consulting. So typically, you need to be at the top of your class and during your um, uh, studies, you need to have uh, exceptional practical experiences. You need to have certain kind of uh, extracurricular activities as well. So it's very demanding and very difficult to get into those strategy consulting firms. Also, the salary in the strategy consulting firms, of course, is higher. So if we talk about entry um, salary, but also, you know, along the career ladder, the salaries in strategy consulting firm are much more attractive. On the other hand, of course, the working hours are also longer. So typically, I would say between 65 and 75 hours per week. Uh, this is what the average strategy consultant uh, probably works. So this means that you have to make a decision. What kind of sector do you want to join? Do you really want to go for strategy consulting? Again, as I just said, prestige is higher, salary is higher, but also you know requirements and working hours are much higher. Or do you rather focus on management consulting firms that are you know still have very exciting job opportunities, but where it's a little bit easier to get into, and also where you don't have these high uh, workloads? So this is a decision that you have to make for yourself. There is no right, there is no wrong. It also depends on your preferences toward your work-life balance. This is also something that you have to keep in mind. So inform yourself, try to learn about strategy consulting firms, try to learn about management consulting firms, and then make the right decision for you. So I hope this brought value to you. If you liked the video, then please leave a thumb up and also subscribe to this channel. This would really, really support what I'm doing here and this would really help the channel to grow. And with that being said, I hope to see you tomorrow. Goodbye, Johannes.